the apparatus that he used was a cathode ray tube which is a primitive version of what we call as a particle accelerator today it was kind of like a sealed flask something like this and all the air was drawn out of it he put two pieces of metal inside that the other side of the flask had a special coating he connected these two pieces of metal to a power source what he saw was amazing a ray shot out from the metal plate through the tube and it created a glow on this specially coated side thompson did not know what was going on but what he did now was to investigate further he put two more plates like this and then he connected it to an electrical source when he repeated the experiment again he saw that the beam that shot out would actually move towards the positive side of the plate you must actually be wondering we are still talking about discovery of the electron but we are talking about electricity yes that is correct scientists actually worked with electricity long before they understood that current was made up of electrons i understand that he he actually put electric source to understand that there were electrons and that's how it actually came about you can also go to the chapter on electricity and understand how electricity was discovered in much more detail the cathode tube was a prime example of using electricity before electrons were being discovered by switching on some voltage scientists could make this fluorescent stream of electricity travel from the bottom part of the glass to the top but no one knew how it worked some thought the rays were a wave traveling through this mysterious ether which they thought permeated all space others thought that these rays were stream of particles it was jj thompson who decided to find out for sure and he concluded two very important things from this experiment the lightest known substance at that point was hydrogen and he noticed that by correlating the bend of the beam with the mass of the substance that the substance that was coming out in this beam was 2000 times lighter than the hydrogen atom and the second thing that he actually noticed when he connected the plates to the electric source the beam deflected towards the positive side of the plate which meant that this beam was attracted towards the positive side which basically meant that yes this particle was negatively charged so thompson was a really really careful guy and he did not want to just conclude by one experiment so he went on to do another experiment he wanted to make sure that the above two conclusions that he had made was actually true so he tried to check this in an other way by using a magnet if something has an electrical charge and is moving the presence of a magnet would push it into another direction he takes the cathode ray tube and puts a magnet around it like this and he sees that the ray bends in another direction this is exactly what should happen when the ray is negatively charged so this further gives confirmation that whatever makes up the cathode ray is negatively charged